Really? Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of stress you want? A lot of golfers get frustrated with their golf game sorely based on their golf swing. But what if I told you you could improve your overall game by just implementing these? I have a very special guest, Billy Troy, who flew in from Brisbane, a golf physio and a golf fitness trainer. Thank you so much for coming down. Slumpy, I appreciate it, mate. Yeah, thank and, you. Um, hopefully we can give you some tips and obviously the audience some good tips to improve their body for golf, mate. Absolutely. Like not many people know just how important stretching and increasing mobility is because it can actually restrict your shoulder turn or whatnot. So yeah, I'm very excited to get into it because I know I struggle a lot with mobility and I don't do a lot of stretches. And I'm sure a lot of you guys don't do a lot of stretches at home, but this is especially for those that work nine to five and only play on the weekends. Let's get straight into it. Let's get into it. Alrighty, Chang, so we're going to take you through a couple of mobility tests, okay? So okay. we've got your golf clubs here. The first thing we're going to test is your hip internal rotation. So for those listening, that is a movement where your hips are basically separating. Yep. Very important when it comes to the impact position okay. for our back safety and then also loading into the backswing to try and create some depth. Yep, okay. So what we're going to do is test that and then see how you perform. Oh God, I'm not gonna do well. Okay. Yeah, okay. I have a trouble with my uh, right hip. Sometimes okay. even when I'm walking, I like, you know, sometimes it, it's, I, I start pulling the muscle mm. and I can feel the strain every now and then. So uh, Perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's not and, good. <laughs> and is this from golf? Yeah, I, th I think this is from golf. Okay. I think I hold a lot of tension in my right hip pocket as I take it back. Well, this is going to be really interesting then because also now that you say that, with a decreased hip internal rotation on your left side, yeah. that has a correlation with the right side of back pain. So okay. there's been a bit of research around that. So it could be either this hip that's causing the issue to your right side, or it could be the fact your right hip, like you said, isn't enabling you to load into the trail hip. Look, we'll test it, we'll find out, and um, we'll it's talk more about yeah. it. No. Okay, so we're going to get these two clubs, which everyone at home can do. You're going to put one face down, that's going to be your six iron. Okay. Then we're using the other club, putting it on the lie angle of the club. So this is designed by the Titleist Performance Institute, and I believe you've been through a screening yep. before. Yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't achieve the highest handicap there. <laughs> and as you can see, I did not do very well, as I received a fitness handicap of 32. So we're going to revisit this. Okay. So what we'll get you to do, mate, you're going to have your right foot drop back two inches, shoulder width apart. We'll make sure that the feet are square. So turning in your left foot, just a fraction. And then I want you to rotate towards your left side as far as you can. And what do you feel as you're doing that? I feel a lot of tension down my left uh, inner part of my leg. Yes. And then here. Correct. And also you can see how your foot's starting to lift up a little bit there as well. Yeah. So let's try that one more time. Okay. Let's get you turning in slightly just so it's in neutral. And let's try the same again, keeping the pressure on your big toe. Alrighty. So ideally what we want is you being parallel with this. As you can see, you're on this angle here. If yeah. I get you putting your hand behind your back there for me, you're there. We want you around there. So I've turned too much? Too little. Oh, too little, okay. Exactly. Wow, okay. <laughs> I feel like I've turned a lot here. <laughs> and um, that's what we really want to happen when it comes to the impact position. Okay. If you can't achieve that, you can probably feel some compensations happening. So your foot starts to roll out, you need to load in your back. Yeah, or... um, usually, what usually happens is I early extend. Correct. And I think to, just like you said, to compensate for that extra turn, the trail foot comes off. Mm or almost spins out. Yes. And then it helps me or complete that turn, I guess. Is 100, that correct? 100%. And when it comes to back pain, early extension coupled with rotation. Yeah. And if you're hanging back. Yeah. And I've seen you swing it. Yeah. No, no, no. I do <laughs> like to hang back, especially on driver as well. And it's more like there. And then um, my miss hits are, especially with the balance, I always go forward. Mm. So make, making a bit of sense. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so we'll get through some stretches in a moment. But yeah, okay. let's test the other side now. So people at home watching, we're gonna have the six iron face up now. Exactly the same test. So we'll have you shoulder width apart, keeping the feet neutral and just dropping back your other foot now a couple of inches. Yep. Perfect. So let's get you rotating towards the right now, opening up everything there. 
And how does this compare for you, mate? I feel no tension in the leg on the left side, <laughs> yeah. but so much down here. Okay. And that's going down through the quad, down yeah, through Yeah, the... like down here. Okay. And again, if we look at the angle here, yeah, you're, you're lacking quite a lot. You're doing better yeah. on the left side. Okay. On this side, we definitely want to see some improvements. Right, okay. So with this back issue that you're experiencing, or this hip issue, it's probably a combination of that. Okay. Um, and this movement called hip internal rotation, one of the most important movements in the golf swing when it comes to flexibility. Just because, again, we're, we're loading and unloading with the hips. And like Happy Gilmore says, Yeah, okay. It's all on the hips. Yeah, so right, he, okay. It is top. always in the hips. Yeah. Okay, so that's test number one. Test number two we're going to do, mate. So, so number two, we're going to be facing this way here in our golf posture, hands across chest. I want you to try and separate without any chest movement. That's it. Now we're going to load into your backswing. So this is the same movement that we did with the clubs before. In this position here, you're maintaining your posture quite well. I can do a lot here, but I just felt that when I turn, my upper body tends to follow and I can't really hold it there. Exactly right. And should it be the same? It should be the same movement. Okay. And you should be able to move without any resistance happening around the torso, around the chest. We'll look back at this and see your first one. Yeah. There was a lot of drifting towards the right. Yeah. And that's just a compensation to create more movement. Okay. So when we were talking about everyday golfers and their lack of movement, they'll tend to have a lot of sway to create more flexibility that way. Yeah. As opposed to most golfers, if you draw like a line down their legs, they'll almost turn right. in this sort of fashion without any of well, minimal yeah. sway, I should say. Yeah, if so let's try another one here. So we're going to try your shoulder rotation in golf posture. So we're going to have your elbows up. And from here, we're going to try and rotate towards the ceiling. Okay. And then I want you to spin 90 degrees. You'll be facing your left there, chain. Same thing. Elbows up nice and high. Rotating as far as you can. And what's stopping you there? Uh, elbow, my trail shoulder. Yeah. If we get that a bit higher up. You're not too bad there, mate. Um, we want you to be in line with the spine angle, yeah. which you're getting to and slightly above. On your left side, ever so slightly below. Okay. Now you can achieve it. Yeah. Do you feel a difference on your left and your right? Yeah, I, I can't actually feel any tension on the left-hand side, <laughs> but this one hurts like hell. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I could probably yeah, do that and okay. I, still, I still can't feel anything. Okay. But when I try to do that with the right-hand side, it hurts a lot. Yeah, 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 interesting. And you can see how your shoulder movement changes quite a bit to compensate. So let's get that elbow up a bit higher. We'll give you a pass for that, but you can obviously tell that the right's more restricted than your left. Yep. And uh, for golfers listening here, the trail arm really important when it comes to keeping that club set. Mm. And in the transition, yep. a lot of people that come over the top, it can be the lack of this shoulder movement. Right. So they'll start to come in that plane. Yeah. And it's very hard to get that shaft back underneath from That's there. the one thing that I'm struggling with the most at the moment. Is as I get to the top, the first movement is this one going back. Okay. Because I'm not able to like keep that elbow tucked in. Mm. I think that's causing that slight steepness of the swing as well. And then the, the early extension, which mm. I know a lot of you guys are also struggling <laughs> with and it's hard to try and keep that tucked in. Mm. Very hard. And the body will take the easiest path of resistance as well. So mm. when you're swinging at hundred miles or faster, the body is not going to try and you know preserve your technique. Yep. It's going to try and preserve yourself. That's right. Are there any exercises that we can do or any stretches that we're going to get into today? 100%, mate. Yeah? Let's get into them. Okay. What we're going to start with, same movement that we just did in your golf posture there. So elbow is going to be up nice and high. Yeah. Taking the club handle and we're going to try and rotate as far back as we can. Okay. So we're stretching through the back of the shoulder here. You might feel it a bit through the pec. Yep. And the goal is to try and just get as much range as you can in that position. Yep. So let's try that. So in this movement here, we can see how Slumpy's Whoa. got his elbow up nice and high. And he's trying to get his forearm going back as far as he can. But also what I want you to do is try and keep your chest square. So let's turn you this way a little bit. Because that's the what uh, you're okay. going to, to be in your golf swing there. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of stretch you want at the top? You don't want to feel this in your golf swing, okay, yeah. <laughs> but I guess you want to do the hard work in the gym yeah. so the golf swing becomes easier. Right. Okay. Or the hard work before you play yeah. you know, in a warm up. Yeah. So again, the golf swing just comes more it's naturally. It's like a feel, and feel versus real, isn't it? Like the more you exaggerate it, you'll probably naturally be here. 
Mm. And then if you, you know, always stretch it out to be like here, then your body will kind of learn, I guess, be more relaxed to be set in that position. Yeah, 100%. And we just want that range to be there in case we need it. Yeah. Or if, you're, if your goal of yours is to get into that position mm. and keeping it tough, yeah. you, you need a bit more movement. Okay. Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. That's right. And uh, do I hold the position there or do I just keep going back and forth and pushing it? I'd like you to hold it for 30 to 45 seconds okay. in, in a static stretch. It's a great question that you ask because if it's prior to the round, I'd probably prefer more dynamic movements. Okay. So going back and forth. But if you're at a, a desk all day, um, for some of your, your listeners and subscribers mm. that are watching, yeah, do it. Do it in between like a meeting or even if you're on a phone call, you can, yeah. you can do it okay. for 30 seconds. So stretch number two we'll do. We'll get at this hip rotation. So okay. this is one of my favorite stretches here, Sam here because it's a, it's a good two for one. Mm -hmm. And it's going over some really specific movements in the golf swing. So it's a, it's a little complex though. So we're going to get you standing in your golf posture here. We're going to take a step. So it's 90 degrees. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just put a muscle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From there, what you're going to try and do is you're going to push your left hip back. Yeah. And your left arm is going towards the ceiling now. As high as you can. And there's not much coming out of your mouth there, mate. I'm in pain. <laughs> and what are you feeling happening there? I feel so much stretch down there. Yes. It just feels like my body is restricting this movement a lot. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Yeah. And with, with a stretch like this, I'll let you relax there for a second. Okay. I'd like you to try and like take some deep breaths into it. Okay. Just so the body relaxes a little yeah. bit. And again, going back to the whole doing it dynamically or, or holding it, you can either hold it for 30 to 45 seconds or before a round, just going back and forth reaching up okay coming yep. back down so the left hip back that's right and then try and reach exactly and then come back perfect and you're trying to get that arm towards the ceiling as high as you can there and i can tell your upper back's a little bit stiff as well mate which we can test oh, but that's <laughs> enough i think for the for the year <laughs> Um, I love that position because again, yeah. that's that's our impact position. Our chest is clearing, our hip is clearing. Okay. And um, for you that struggles with getting behind it a little bit and getting yeah. a bit stuck, that's a really good one to start training your body to get comfortable there. Okay. Yeah, I'm already feeling a lot stretched out now. <laughs> I've never done these movements before, so. All right, let's try a quick test of your upper back if you don't mind. We just yep. noticed it there sure. in the video. So um, let's try and get you into, again, your golf posture here. And I'd like you to try and keep your legs really quiet. You just turn your chest as far as you can here. All right, it's to 90 degrees. <laughs> You're probably halfway. So I like anything above around 80 degrees here. Wow. Um, I can't miss. Is that possible? For sure. <laughs> For sure. People can actually turn the upper body at 90 degrees with the still lower body. Very close. That is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so stiff. Definitely. Very flexible. Definitely. And let's try the right side. Yeah. And that's not much better, is it? Oh, Arguably worse. Here, like I feel like down here, I just nearly pulled it. <laughs> 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 Bit of homework for you to do. Alrighty, Slump here, we're going through an X-Factor stretch. And you may Sounds have heard- scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a bit scary, especially for your body, mate. But the X-Factor stretch, you may have heard of X-Factor in the golf swing before. Yep. It's basically the separation between the hips and the torso. Okay. So the goal is to try and get that happening for you. I think you separate really well considering how the body moves. Okay. So the goal is just to make sure that you can maintain that for a long period of time. Sure. And not do yourself any harm. Okay. So what we're going to do, right leg's going to be down at 90 degrees. Yep. Back leg straight. Yep. We're going to turn our chest down as far as we can. And the left arm is reaching up. Okay. So there's a few instructions there. 90, straight, turn the chest. Reach out. Okay. Yep. Let's give okay. that a try. And our goal here is to try and push the chest down as far as we can. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. And we're trying to reach that left arm out as long as possible. So trying to really extend through the arm. There. Ah. <laughs> and so what are you feeling there, mate? A lot of stretch on my right glute. Yes. And this is what we call the X factor. We're trying to get more separation between that right glute and the upper back here. And this is essentially what happens in our backswing. We load up the right hip, we try and create some turn through our thorax. Add some deep breaths in there, Slumpy, before you pass out, mate. <laughs> okay. Shall we try the other side? Yep. <laughs> this one, trying to reach out. That's right. So again, trying to really pull that arm out as long as you can. So what we're stretching here is the lat muscle. 
which goes from our shoulder to the opposite side of the back where it connects into the fascia. So again, we're stretching so many different muscles and joints here. We've got the glute, we've got our upper back, our lat, and our soul. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass out soon, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is good. And this is also a holding movement as well. Yeah, you I like- try and hold, You try and just stretch out as far as you can. So it's not like you're going back and then forward, back and forward. It's just trying to just stretch. That's right. As far as possible. That's right, okay. stretching as far as possible, relaxing into it. And, and just trying to really improve our, our range here. So again, this is a great one. First thing in the morning or after a long day at work, sitting at a desk, or yeah. um, if, if you're a, a laborer or someone more physical, great as well. So again, goal swing for us is a lot about trying to create rotation with the body. Mm. So if we can get the upper body moving well, the hips moving well, yeah. it's gonna help your goal swing. Let's do, let's do a hip stretch here yeah, as well, okay, if you yeah, don't sure. mind. So what we're going to do with this one, this one's called 90-90. Okay. So we've got 90 degrees here and then 90 degrees there. That looks pretty good to me, Slumpy. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean forward. Our hands will be supporting our chest. Yep. We'll keep our posture up nice and tall. And our goal is to try and push this foot down into down. the ground. And what are you feeling there? Uh, nothing at the moment. Good, so let's go lower into the stretch. Oh, I wasn't going low. <laughs> I, was just stand, I was just sitting tall. And I was just thinking, yeah, I'm feeling, okay. So you want to try and stretch down? Uh, correct, we're pushing down, leaning further forward. We're trying to push our foot down into the ground. And let's keep going with that. Holding that 30 seconds. Are you feeling a stretch there now? Um, I'm feeling the stretch like here. Mm. So in this stretch, we really want to stretch the glute. If your hips are tight, which yours are, impingement can occur. Basically what that means, it means the joint just get a bit irritated. Okay. So that might not be the best stretch for you. So instead what we can do as a, another option is our knees will be just slightly wider. Yep. From here, we're going to drop our left knee in, our right knee out, and then we're going the other way. And this is a, an easier option for us. It's a little bit more suitable for those that have really tight hips. It's a bit easier. And what is the, the goal here? Like, are we just trying to push this one down to the ground or this one down to the ground? Correct. Both yeah, of them? we're trying to push both down to the ground. And also what we're trying to do as well is keep our spine relatively stable as well. Okay. So if I move a lot, yeah, I'm not stretching my hips so much. Right. So I'm trying to almost keep my tailbone down. Yeah. Whilst trying to get that hip towards the oh, ground. Oh wow. Okay. Because yeah. I was lifting up my yeah. hip for me to complete that turn. Yeah. But if I don't, this is as far as I can. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not great. Yeah, yeah. Not great. <laughs> okay. And so what do you feel with this one? Uh, a lot of tension, like there and then here. Nice. So that's a nice substitute for you there. Okay, can we now go back to the 1990? We might have our left leg in front this time. Okay. So left leg 90, that's it. That looks like a great position. And let's try leaning forward into this one. And try and keep your posture up nice and tall there too, Slumpy. That's it. Trying to push that heel down into the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, filling down the left glute, the outer part. Perfect. And that's where we want to try and stretch here. And let's now try leaning back here, mate. So the hands will go behind you. You can stay in that same, okay. yep. same position. That's it. We'll lean back, hands behind us. And the goal with this one is trying to push the inside of the foot into the ground. <laughs> and the facial expression says it all. Wow, that really stretches out my thighs, That's the hamstrings. It. That's it. And this is the feeling you probably get in your backswing or something similar. So these are the muscles that we're trying to open up here. Okay. And then when you start really improving, our goal is to move back forward with our okay. weight and with our hands, and then try and pick up that hip off the ground. Good job. And that will, <laughs> and that will typically cramp up the muscle, okay. but, but strengthen it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's really difficult for me to do. Mm. I feel like any moment I'm going to pull a muscle. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. And for those that are listening as well, some people might stretch for hours, but a big part of the stretching is strengthening as well. Okay. So 
Sometimes the body will stay tight because you haven't got good strength to maintain the movement. Yeah. So doing this exercise, for example, is great to strengthen the muscles as well. Okay, not just to loosen the muscle, but to actually tighten it up. Correct. Yeah, and it sounds counterintuitive. People think of strength training and they think, I'm going to get like Arnold Schwarzenegger and yeah. that ball of muscle. Yeah. But not the case. Right, okay. If you strength train with the right movements and reps and sets, it will, it will improve your golf and uh, your body quite dramatically. All right, that's it guys. Thank you, Billy. We've learned how unflexible <laughs> and how terrible my body works. Um, so I'm gonna be doing these stretches every single day. I'll try to. Got a promise. You don't even need a lot of equipment, right? <laughs> you don't, mate. You need, need a, a little roller, <laughs> a band. Yeah. You can do it anywhere in the world, mate. Um, you can get started straight away. It's so funny how we, you know, average golfers like myself, watch pros swing on TV and think, oh, you know, they're just so good because they, you know, probably hit thousands of balls every single day, but they just don't realize the amount of effort and time goes in, in the gym yes. to create that effortless swing, right? Correct. And Adam Scott's a great example this week, playing 94 majors in a row, I believe. So over that period, I know Adam Scott for a fact trains an hour and a half before he plays okay. in the gym, hour and a half after he finishes. That's which three hours of just stretching and gym work. Correct, and I guess that's, with his career, that's an investment he's made. He's made a lot of money. Yeah. He's made a, a lot of good championship wins. He's won a, a Masters. So I think with him, he probably believes that he's invested his time pretty wisely. Absolutely, yeah. It is so important, guys. Don't focus too much on your golf swings. Obviously, it is important, but for you to achieve that effortless swing, for you to turn through the shot properly, yeah, this is this has been awesome. Um, please check out Billy. I will link all his socials down in the description below. And whenever you're in Brisbane, please hit him up. Currently running your own uh, studio. Yeah, yeah. So I work out of a couple of clinics in in Brisbane and Gold Coast there. Okay. But um, about eighty percent of my clients are online now. So feel free to reach out. You can find me at my social media or my website yep. to book uh, a free call to discuss your golf. Perfect. I'll FaceTime you every single time. <laughs> <laughs> but everything else will be in the link in the description below. So make sure you do check it out. And once again, thank you very much, Billy, and thank you Golf Studio Morialik for hosting us and letting us film today. Uh, awesome facility. You can do putting chipping around here there's uh hubs for uh your track man Correct. thank you very much no, thank, thank you, you. Chang. appreciate it see you guys <laughs>